dupe. Sometimes it dupes and sometimes it doesn't dupe. Look at her hat. Isn't it beautiful? It suits her. But that bit at the back, that's the pretty bit. It doesn't look right at the front, but it should do. Because <laughs> that's where the bow is. I want the bow at the front. But I don't think I can actually keep it on. I do love a hat. But I can't keep it on. Would you like to wear a cuddle for <laughs> No, you shan't. Oh, dear boy. Right, what am I doing? Fuck it all. Um, <coughs> what's happened? I thought I was doing all right on the, um, what's it called? Pain players. But I wasn't. <laughs> I thought I was going to do one earlier, and I thought I was doing that quite late, and then I was going to do one again. But then I went over there intending to do one, and I did two. I didn't realise that until about a few hours later when I looked at them. <coughs> um, but it was when they wore off. <laughs> it was like the fucking pain here. And it just sort of ha happened within a couple of minutes. I was like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, I think my meds are wearing off. And it was like crescendo. So I've done a couple. I, might, I can do one. Before bed tonight. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I will go. I'll, I'll miss a dose. I'll miss a dose. I just need to like prolong it a little bit late, and then prolong that next one quite late. If I can do that one about four or five, that'd be all right. So I need to like go until ten o'clock maybe without one. And just see if I can manage. See if I can find something to do in a comfortable position. That's the thing. I can't fucking sit for too long. This is hurting my fucking back. I'm always shifting. But then standing kills my fucking feet. <sighs> Sitting is different. <laughs> it's just different pains. There's pains. There's an associated pain for everything. Anything. Um, but. I was alright. I went out on my scooter for a bit. I bumped into a friend. I looked up her. Um. I was supposed to be going on a little shopping trip, but that didn't happen. But that was all right. It wasn't the end of the world. I had stuff to do. Um, what else have I done? <laughs> I managed to train. Did some laundry. Tidied my room this morning because it got a shithole again last night. <laughs> yeah, it got a shithole again last night. So I tidied it this morning. Um, so it's been kind of alright. It's been kind of alright. Getting difficult to achieve. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm sort of doing my three meals. Definitely not really staying on top of my environment. Although I kind of did. But it's like it's a massive mission. And there's still some shit on the bed over there. There's a hat. Coat. Handbag. There's about six pairs of knickers. I did do some laundry area. There must be stray pairs of knickers. There's quite a few. It was. Why can I only see one now? I don't know. I don't care. But, um, like I said, it does make a massive difference just to walk into it. Um, just to walk into it. It's more calming. Uh, <laughs> it's more calming, up. Um, and like it's easier to sit in, it's sit in a blur. It's much sit in a blur. <laughs> Love that sit in a blur. Um, someone reached out to me tonight, that was really nice. Not nice as such, it was nice that they trusted me. That they trusted me. Um, and it was this, the kind of shit that I've said in my videos about what to say to me. And I did that. I just did that. And, um, you know, 
I won't go into details, but when someone's saying I feel stupid or I feel, you know, whatever they're saying, it's like, no, don't. It's like, I doesn't say this part, but it's true that actually extremes of emotion are within normal human brains. Like I said before, the whole world's convinced they've got mental health issues. And they feel a bit sad, they call it depression or whatever. Depression, no fucking hell, so many people don't know what depression is. They really don't. <laughs> But they insist that they've got it. Um, but those extremes of, I give up, I quit, this is always me, what am I doing wrong? Why can't, you know, why why can't I figure it out? How come everyone else knows what to do? Da, 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 da. Feeling completely and utterly to blame for everything and feeling completely fucking like you're a burden on everyone. All of those things. They're normal, they, that's within the range of normal human emotions. I want to kill him, I want to die. In normal human emotions, normal human range. Just because it's particularly extrusive or uncomfortable, <laughs> you declare yourself mad. No, it's just, you know, like I said before, depression is actually the body's fail safe mechanism, it's in a response to stress. So it, it switches off your access to a lot of your limbic systems. So there's no mood going on. No mood, not low mood, not unhappiness, not sadness, not bitterness. Fuck all. That's what depression is. Fuck all. Listlessness, sleepiness, lethargy. They're to make you get tired and go to sleep. That's why when a lot of people say, I read one of the dreaded memes yesterday, and it, it talked about it though. It said you can get on top. Treat it like you were physically ill. And give yourself 24 hours. Go to bed, catch up on movies, do that sort of shit. True. <laughs> Fucking true. Um, uh, I don't know where I'd come from to end up at that last bit. I suddenly realised I was floundering quite badly. <laughs> so let's try and pick up where we left off from. Someone reached out to me. It was nice. Yeah, just normalising it. That was the thing. Just like that was yeah, sympathy. That was another one. That was another one. I bead sympathetic. I bead sympathetic. Because, you know, I I've been told that enough times. Don't be sympathetic to people like, oh there, there, there. That's not what they need. They need this. Who the fuck are you to tell them what they need? When someone's upset with something that you you allow them to be upset over, what do you give them? You give them sympathy. You say, mate, that fucking sucks. Can I give you a hug? All of that. You speak to them in a nice, soft tone of voice. You have time for them. You say, come on, I'll just sit with you. It's all right, let's just come and sit over here. That's it. Da -da -da. You're gentle. You're sympathetic. Because it works for when somebody is that upset. So if you just forget all of the reasons why it happened, just look at it like a subconscious does. It quite often doesn't look at a lot of things. It just looks at that person said that and this, this happened and did it. It, it learns that. Right. Look at those dynamics of it. When someone is upset, you give them sympathy and it makes them feel better. So, just because you don't agree with why someone's upset, you think that the cure for that is nastiness, blame, anger, <laughs> at times, impatience, intolerance. Sarcasm, um, a diminutive and sardonic, patronising, <laughs> woefully puke-inspiring tone of voice. But that's only some of you. <laughs> the rest of you are all cunts. Um, no, not all of you are all cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only half cunt. But only predominantly for about 40% of none of the time. <coughs> <coughs> no, but that's what I tried to be. I tried to be and I, you know, I wanted, I wanted her to feel like she was given a fuck about. And that's difficult because I know people say it to me and I just sort of think, I'm not feeling it when people say it. And I think that's why people shout it at me, because they can kind of tell. But I'm like, but it's not my fault that I'm not feeling it. I just can't. 
I just can't. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's a very, very quiet and very, very bleak world a lot of the time for me. It's very difficult to access places where I can function as me and around people and be okay with that. And then be okay with it. And me know that it's, you know, that like they're not making sacrifices for it to be okay for them. Because there's a lot of fucking situations where that happens. Regardless of whenever, whether anyone thinks I think I'm special and different, or bloody bloody blah, or I think that this hasn't happened, or I'm holding on to this anger, or I'm whatever your fucking diagnosis is. The upshot of it is, the amount of times when my interactions with humans go incredibly fucking awry. Even at the very most simplistic levels, they go very fucking awry. Many things can be rye, like a rye would be without rye. <laughs> it was without rye, <laughs> which means it went badly. So there are some things with rye. Anyway, I should have known better than to do that. I should have known better than to do that. That's why I interrupted myself there. Just to be stupid, just literally to be stupid, just because I thought about the word a rye and I just saw the letter in my head and I took the a away. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll just make the same point again sympathy. Um, no, yeah, it made her feel like she was giving a shit about. I said it, I just said it in the in a, in a basic sentence because you can't communicate a lot all the time, can you? Like, those are the sorts of things. That's the sort of stuff that's better communicated in the bigger picture. Like, if someone's often checking in on you, you can think, wow, it really matters to them how I'm doing, doesn't it? That's them telling you that they care about you, that kind of stuff, you know? I don't like saying something, like talking about myself. That's what narcissists do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I wasn't talking about myself. I just said, I hope it makes you feel a little bit better, a little bit happier. And thank you, thank you for sharing it. Because it is a big step for someone who's not feeling good to reach out to you when they're feeling shitty and stupid. And, you know, the the thought is that someone's either going to go, oh, like, I haven't got time for your shit, I've got my own fucking shit going on. Or, you know, the, probably the biggest fear is that I confirm their worst fear is that they are being just petty and they are taking it the wrong way. And you can say that sometimes even by trying to be supportive. You know what I mean? By saying things like, don't let it get to you so much. The implication is that you let it get to you. You let it. It wasn't a symptom of your illness that made it impossible for you to stop it happening. It was you letting it. Those, that is a schizotypal paradigm from society. Yet again, a misinterpretation of intent from an observation of events. That right. You clever little sensitive idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> who is it who says that? Someone I know actually says you're a clever little sausage. <laughs> pork off. Right, anyway, I better pork off. What time is it? So, no, it's not like emerge. I thought that was 15 then. I thought it was 15. Look at that, it looks like I'm wearing. Like, it's not. That's not my knickers. Look, knickers, are... my knickers don't even start to there. Look at that. Flesh. <laughs> I need some better girl filters on these so I can look like a proper girl and speak in a voice like this. Hi, my name's Natalie. <laughs> uh, anyway. What else was I going to say? Still a lot of aggression. Still a lot of fucking aggression. Still a lot of aggression. And that's another one I was going to mention. It's just been building up a little bit. Fucking way loads of gay comments and gay fucking... Just men being gay, even when they think they're not. <laughs> it's getting quite creepy, again, for someone who's got, like, a tendency to misinterpret the world and, you know, a constant feeling that he's always going to be persecuted and humiliated. And then you're getting, like, obvious things like horns beeping and insulting shit thrown at you. <laughs> it's like... I need to try and tell myself that I just imagined that. Or that it wasn't really about me. <laughs> it was about them, really. It's like, I don't care. That's frightening. I don't care who it was about. You know what I'm saying? 
like, <laughs> why would you know that iron bar in the face? That's a lot less. Now I know that it was actually all about him. Really. <laughs> Thanks. No, my jaw's better. Anyway, I will bid you a on the and say good night and, and good night and thank you for watching.